Hey guys, so today is a very special day. The babies are two months and they're getting their two month shots. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm on, I'm out of breath because I'm running late, so I'm, we're walking really fast. But yeah, so they get their two month shots today. So I don't know, hopefully they don't cry too much. It's just them. Say hi to the vlog. She's being a good grandma, pushing her grandbabies. So, so right up, she just closed her eyes, and Eli is sleeping. Look at this license plate. Rawr. Usually I bring them by myself, but it's hard carrying the two of them into the room. But luckily my mom was able to come today. So, how she's sitting right now, usually that's how I sit. One on either side, taking up so much space. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, Sarai? <laughs> it's like she felt that the camera was on her. Eli's still sleeping. Yeah, no one's here yet, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Grandma's entertaining us, right? Yeah. Eli's here just chilling. Cause mm. He was cold, so he had to be a little wrapped up. So, right? mm -hmm. She's a free spirit. Bah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be free, and Eli wants. To be covered. He wants to be covered. He likes to be warm. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, you guys are about to get your needles. But well, you guys are brave, right? You guys are brave little chickadees, right? Yeah. You're not scared. You scared? Sorry, you're not scared. You like you scared? You're not scared. So right, you say, oh, something strange face. Oh, something strange face. So are you scared? Nah, you scared. You're a big girl. So yeah, they're about to get their needle and I'm kind of nervous. Because, you know, you don't want to see your babies cry, but it's for the good. Go Eli. Go Eli. Go Eli. <laughs> Go Sarai. Go Sarai. That was a major spit up, girl. So when I breastfeed Sarai, she doesn't spit up, but with the formula she does. So I asked the doctor about it, and she said it's normal. She's not worried about it, because Sarai's gaining weight. She's gaining a lot of weight, so she's not worried about it. So. She said it was a natural reflex. Yeah, she has some natural reflex. And Eli's are upset because he's hungry. Oh, Okay. Yeah, hey. It's the time for the first shots today, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Try okay. not to feed them because I have to give them the drops too. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be there. Yeah. Oh. So awkward. So yeah, Eli's hungry, but we can't feed him until he gets his needle. And it's someone passing gas. But yep. So they're going to get their needles and they're getting restless. And Eli's saying let me go I want to I don't want to get no needle he's like let me go I don't want no needle okay. <laughs> but I do do both I breastfeed I get in the bottle because it's just easier with the twins Eli's there chilling out with grandma Sarai's here about to spit up on me probably but yeah so we're all just waiting for their needles we're gonna get a needle Hey, hey, you're gonna get a needle. Hey, gonna get a needle. <laughs> oh, I hate needles. Like, like, I can't even, when I get a needle for myself, I can't even look. I have to look the other way. Because I just don't like the sight of blood. Mom, you like needles? Not at all. Not at all. What's wrong, darling? She doesn't want to get a needle, guys. I don't wrong her. You don't want to get a needle? I know, you're tired. She's tired, guys. And I'm tired. I was up from 
and I just couldn't fall back asleep. Like, they're doing better now. They're sleeping through the night. They wake up to feed and then they go back to sleep. But I don't. When I'm up, I'm up. Their needle just like a little like they cried for maybe about a few seconds and then they stopped if even like the first shot Eli didn't even cry and same with Sarai only the second one they like squirmed a little bit but they did pretty good they did great actually I was expecting them to be bawling their heads off so I'm very proud of my babies I'm very proud of them very strong so yeah it wasn't too bad I didn't film while they were having the shots, I wanted to actually be there to hold them and stuff. So yeah, but they did it well, so now we're leaving. sleeping um on the way back like so we get stopped all the time people are like oh my gosh it's twins and they come and they look in and even from when we left the appointment like this is just regular routine when i have them whenever we go out um it's like a celebrity like everyone wants to come over like oh my god and it's so cute so yeah like so they're, they're okay they don't seem too miserable from the from their shots earlier it's just sleeping. Eli is there wiggling. I'm, I just did his head, but it's just <laughs> poor thing, you know. The struggle is so real for you, for you, Mr. Big Head. It's okay, baby. He's they're just moving his head side to side. So yeah, we're home. Yep. So we got this, which is to keep record of their shots so that they get. So I like how it's in a little booklet. Like that's pretty. That's pretty neat. My hand is there because I'm just blocking my address from the stalkers. I don't want y'all to come stalk me now. So yeah, so we got this which we'll, which we keep to just to have their records and stuff. So that's pretty neat. And yeah, they're healthy. Like the doctor is like they're growing fast. They're like everything is going great. Like there's no problems with them. They're healthy and. Yeah, no complaints. So that's that's pretty awesome to hear. Like as a mom, you want to know that your babies are like doing good. That there's that they're like fine and like no baby is perfect. No one's perfect, but you want your baby to be perfect. You know. So hearing the words like oh my gosh, like the doc's like they're they're perfect. Nothing's wrong. It's like yeah. It's like yeah. My baby's perfect. I'm just joking, but no, I'm not joking. Look at them. Like I'm so in love. Like. These two months have gone by so fast. 
so so fast and i'm just so happy that i'm finally like picking up my vlogging so i could have these memories forever to look back on when they're older you know we sit down and then i show i show i show all their friends like hey guys you want to see their video from their babies i'm joking no not joking so Serena Eli, when you're 10, if you're t if you're watching this, you are 10 years old, I'm joking. But like, yeah, so it's cool having this so I can look back on, and they can look back on it too, and see how life was when they were just little babies. <laughs> so peaceful. Everyone's telling, everyone's telling me that this is the calm before the storm, but I think it's just going to get better. Like, they're going to, they're going to be walking, like, I don't know what time they're one or one and a half or however that goes. And it'll be, it'll be, I know it'll be hard because they'll be like running, one's running this way, one is running that way, but we just gotta see, we gotta, we gotta take it one day at a time and just enjoy the moment, enjoy it right now. So that's what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to enjoy each moment as it comes and not rush things, like just enjoying them being babies because before you know it, it's gonna be over and I, I wish I was vlogging more when they were first born, but it was just like, it's pretty like busy and stressful getting into the routine you know from having no kids and having no babies and no like responsibility then to have two like and as a new mom and you're not it's not just one baby but it's two it's like overwhelming but then I just like now I can't imagine life without them like they're my world like I can't imagine life without them like no <laughs> there is no life without my babies so yeah. Yeah, so my apologies for my eyebrows. Like, I'm really trying to grow my eyebrows because I grew it for like months. And then when I went to get it done, um, the day of my, no, the day before my birthday, I went to get it done. And uh, the eyebrow place I usually go to was busy and I did not have like the time to wait. So I went to somewhere else. Big mistake. My eyebrows, which is naturally thick like you can see that it's thick like it's just growing in so my eyebrows which is like this thick they made it into like one line like someone just took a pencil and just made a line across my face so I'm just growing my eyebrows so yeah I know it's gonna this is a tedious process like it's so painful when you spend your time growing your precious eyebrows and then someone just comes and just takes that away from you especially the day before my birthday like how are you gonna how are you gonna do that to me so yeah, that's what my eyebrows look like this. And my hair looks like this because their appointment, their appointment was at 8, 8 o'clock, 8.15. And getting them ready is like a whole process on its own. Like I'm definitely going to have to make a morning routine or get ready with me video. And you guys will see like it's, <laughs> it's like a whole different, before I'm used to like, I wake up, I brush my teeth, shower, whatever. Eat, I'm out the door now, it's like, I wake up. Um, it's either I breastfeed or I prepare a bottle, like whichever one. Like, I have to prepare, prepare a bottle anyway. Like, when I'm on the road, I always have bottles on deck because I'm not <laughs> double breastfeeding them in public. Like, kudos to those moms who breastfeed, but like in public, but to breastfeed two of them in public, like, I'm basically be short shirtless. So, <sighs> I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people who want to see that, but a lot of people are not gonna see that. And I personally, that's too much of a hassle. I'm just gonna pull off my shirt in public. And just whip up two of my titties to double breastfeed them in public like that? No. So I make their bottles, whether it's from pumped milk or formula milk, whatever I have. Because face it, like, whenever I... I don't really have that much free time. And when I do, like, to pump takes up so much time. And I feel like I don't always have enough. So I always have, like, um, prepared bottles from formula on deck. So... So yeah, they get both. Really, it's 50-50. Like, I know people are going to be like, breastfeed, breastfeed, breastfeed. But I have to do what works for me, what works for us. And doing 50-50 has been working. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm happy that even though I don't breastfeed like 100% of the time, at least they're getting it half of the time, which is better than none of the time, right? And so if they're both getting it half the time, then technically it's like I'm breastfeeding a baby like one baby pure breast fat, breast milk if you if you get what I'm saying but yeah so so yeah that's why I look like this cuz this morning like I was up early like tell me how I was up from they woke up at 4 a.m. like yeah they woke up at 4 I fed them that no 335 I remember it was 335 
So they woke up at 3.35 and they both, I breastfed, I breastfed them and then they both fell back asleep by 4, 4.30ish. So that's pretty good because now, it's like they're sleeping through the night but they're just waking up to, to feed and then they go back to sleep. Before it would be like they'll wake up every 2-3 hours and when they're up, they'll stay up for like an hour or 2 hours now in the night time. When when they're when they wake up, it's just to eat and they go back to sleep. So that is a major milestone, and he just started doing that about a week ago. Yeah, I've been kind of doing that for two weeks, but Sarai finally got on board. So yeah, so now they basically like they wake up once and then they go right back to sleep. So that is awesome. So that is a I'm happy that like this is their like two month update, and I could say that you know they're sleeping through the night, but they just wake up to feed. So I don't know. If I still call it sleeping through the night because they go right back to sleep, but I can't wait for the time when they just sleep straight through. Like, they don't wake up to feed. They just, like, sleep, and then when they wake up to eat, it's, like, normal time, 7 a.m. Like, that would be awesome, but right now they're doing, they're making progress. So, yeah, that's why I look like this. My hair is a mess, and I have to take it out because it's expired. The hair itself not expired, but I had this hair in way too long, like, Way too long, but it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Like, someone could come try to pull this off my head. You're going to take my whole head because it ain't going nowhere. So, but I need to take this hair out. My hair on top. My petty leave out. I'm just, I just don't like closures. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like my head just feels hot. Like, I feel like a closure, like, I just can't, okay, I, I tried doing wigs, but I can't do wigs on a regular because I just feel like my head gets too hot. And I... And I don't like to have to like put it on when I'm leaving and when I get home, whenever I wear a wig, as soon as like before I even get in my house, I wanna dash it off. So okay, it's not about wigs and stuff. It's about the two minutes. These are two months.